Now, uh, we will discuss some applications of binomial distribution. Many instances of binomial distribution can be found in real life. So, we have already discussed this is related to the random phenomena success or failure whenever you will see some random phenomena uh, that is output is related to success or failure that will be considered we can model those data using binomial distribution. For example, if a new drug is introduced to cure a disease it either cures the disease it is successful or it does not cure the disease it is a failure. If you purchase a lottery ticket you are either going to win money or you are not. So, basically anything you can think of that can only be a success or failure can be represented by a binomial distribution. So, let us uh, discuss some uh, example. So, we have already discussed um, binomial distribution in details. Some numerical example we want to discuss. Let us consider uh, one problem. Suppose 10 coins are thrown simultaneously, find the probability of getting at least 7 heads. Ten coins are thrown simultaneously. Simultaneously, find the probability. Find the probability of getting. getting at least 7 heads. Seven heads. So, here uh, in this problem you can see that uh, probability of head for a particular uh, that coin you are tossing a coin once what is the probability of head it is not given. So, whenever it is not given so then uh, we will assume that it is a unbiased coin. So, uh, we we for a for so we will assume that let x be a random variable random variable with x is equal to 1 if the head is observed. and equal to 0 if a tail is tail is observed. So, probability of head here we will consider it is nothing but 1 by 2. So, uh, because this uh, one uh, this is not mentioned what is the probability of head. So, then we will mostly assume so, whenever you will see in a problem it is not given, so then we can assume that probability of head is equal to uh, 1 by 2. Now, this is repeated, so 10 coins are thrown simultaneously that means it is repeated 10 number of times. So, this is x1 first times x2 xn all have same probability mass function. So, this is uh, the same as x that is why it is called a uh, identically distributed random variables x1, x2, xn. So, here n is equal to 10, n is equal to 10 and uh, probability of xi is equal to 0 is 1 minus of p, this is also half. Now, this y we know that this is x1 plus x2 plus x10, it has a binomial distribution with parameter 10 and p is half. So, we have already discussed you can remember that you can go back the previous slides where we started discussing Bernoulli distribution see that y is x1 x2 xn where x1 x2 xn are independent random variable each has Bernoulli distribution and with probability p here p is 1 by 2 
1 minus p is 1 by 2 again and then if you are taking n number of sums then it will be binomial distribution with parameter n and p. So, here it is already known to us what is n and p. In this example n is equal to 10 and p is equal to 1 by 2. So, then what is the probability mass function? The probability mass function of y is given by probability that y is equal to small y this is nothing but n c y 10 c y. So, we, you can remember the probability mass function of binomial distribution we already discussed. Then p to the power y, so p to the power of y 1 my and uh, 1 minus p to the power of n minus y 10 minus y. See that both are half, so this is, is equal whenever y is 0, 1, 2, then up to 10, 10 and this is, is equal to 0 otherwise. So, now it can be simplified, so probability of mass function of y, p of y, this is nothing but probability that y is equal to y, it can be further simplified like this. So, this is nothing but because you can see that here uh, 10 c y 1 by 2 both are p equal to 1 by 2. So, that is why 1 minus p also coming 1 by 2. So, this can be uh, y 10 minus y. So, this is 1 by 2 whole to the power uh, 10 it is coming. So, this is nothing but 10 c y this is nothing but 10 c y 1 by whole to the 1 by 2 whole to the power 10 whenever y is 0 1 to 10 this is equal to uh, 0 otherwise. Now, uh, what is the question? So, this is the distribution of the uh, 10 coins whenever you are throwing, uh, then it is a binomial distribution. Find the probability of getting at least 7 heads. So, this is actually what is the probability here y, y equal to y means uh, what is the probability of uh, this y is equal to 0 then 0 heads y is equal to 1 then 1 heads 2 y is equal to 2 then 2 heads out of 10 thrown. So, here it is asked what is the probability that uh, probability of getting at least 7 heads. So, at least 7 heads means uh, you want probability of y greater than equal to 7. So, greater than equal to 7 then at least 7 means yeah probability of y greater than equal to 7. So, this is nothing but probability that y is equal to 7 plus probability that y is equal to 8 plus probability that y is equal to 9 plus probability y is equal to 10. So, then we just have to simplify it to find the final what is the probability. So, y is equal to 7 we will find from this expression. So, this is nothing but 10 c 7 uh, 1 by 2 whole to the power 10 here no change then plus 10 c 8 1 by 2 whole to the power 10 plus 10 c 9 1 by 2 whole to the power 10 plus 10 c 10 1 by 2 whole to the power 10 because this is the probability mass function. So, now 1 by 2 whole to the power 10 this is common. So, 10 c 7 we can write 10 factorial then this is 7 factorial 3 factorial plus uh, 10 c 8 we can write 10 factorial 8 factorial 10 minus 8 2 factorial plus 10 c 9 we know this is nothing but 10 and 10 c 10 this is nothing but 1. So, then we have to just simplify these things. So, uh, how we can simplify? So, because 10 factorial, 7 factorial, 3 factorial can be written as uh, 10, fact 10 into 9 into 8 into 7 factorial by uh, 7 factorial into 3 into 2 into 1. So, 7 factorial cancelled. So, then we will get uh, 2 this is uh, 4. Uh, then 3, this is 3. So, then it, it will be uh, 120. So, this is nothing but 120. So, that will replace there. So, just I erase those things. So, if I have done any mistake, please check and then you make the correct, you can do the correct computation if it is there is any mistake. So, so this is nothing but 1 by 2 whole to the power 10, this is 120 plus now, 10 c 8 factorial, how we will find this next term? 10 into 9 into 8 factorial by 8 factorial into 2, 2 factorial is 2. So, then this is cancelled and then it is uh, 5, 
45. So, this is nothing but 45. So, this is just a simplification purpose, this is 45 and plus uh, this is 10 plus this is 1. So, then just you add those things. So, then this is coming like uh, how much it is coming. So, 1 by 2 to the power 10 it may be a, we check it 1024 and this is nothing but uh, so this is this is 165 175 so 176 so this is coming 176 uh, by 1024 so this is the probability we are finding so that that the 10 coins are thrown simultaneously find the probability of getting at least 7 heads so, probability of getting at least 7 heads is 176 by 1024. So, this is one problem. So, let us uh, do some other numerical examples also. So, let A and B uh, play a game. Let A and B, A and B play a game, A and B play a game uh, in which in which in which uh, there are chances of winning in which they are chances of winning chances of winning at least three games. at least 3 games out of the 5 games sorry I just mistake let A and B play game in which their chances of winning are chances of winning let A and B play a game in which their chances of winning chances of winning are are in the ratio in the ratio 3 is to 2, 3 is to 2. Find a chance of winning, find a chance of a chance of winning at least 3 games, at least 3 games out of the out of the 5 games out of the 5, five games played 5 games played. So, let us uh, uh, discuss this problem again. Let A and B be 2 uh, a and B play a game in uh, which their chances of winning are uh, in the ratio uh, 3 is to 2. So, find a, uh, so find a, find a chance of winning at least 3 games out of the 5 games. So, so okay, a chance of winning at least 3 games out of the 5 games. Okay. So, they are playing 5 times. So, here, so let suppose first uh, we will discuss the what is the some suppose they are playing once only. So, then x be the random variable that this is giving equal to 1 if uh, a is winning, if a wins. So, uh, then what is the probability of x is equal to 1 and this is equal to 0 if uh, suppose b wins. So, for uh, once whenever they are playing. So, it is given that uh, their chances of winning uh, are in the ratio 3 is to 2. So, that means if 5 games are played, so then probability of x is equal to 1, this is not nothing but the uh, uh, odds for a that is nothing but 3 out of 3 plus 2, 5 out of 5 actually 3 for a. So, uh, basically you can uh, uh, so you can find like this way also either in this way you can think or you can think like the ratio is nothing but probability s equal to 1 this is the winning for uh, a 
and this is and probability of x, x is equal to 0, this is winning for b. So, b wins means x equal to 0. So, this is this ratio is 3 plus 2. So, from here you can also we can also find because we know that probability of x equal to 1 plus probability of x is equal to 0, this is equal to 1. So, from here you can just uh, uh, find out. So, suppose uh, probability of x equal to 1, uh, it is nothing but uh, this is nothing but uh, from here, uh, here you can see that 2 into probability of x is equal to 1 uh, minus uh, 3 into probability that x is equal to 0, this is equal to 0. So, from here also we can, uh, so if we multiply 2 here, so this will be nothing but uh, 2 this and then uh, if we subtract, so then we will get 5 probability of x is equal to 0 is equal to 2. So, which implies probability of x is equal to 0 is nothing but 2 by 5. And similarly, uh, probability of x equal to 1 will be 1 minus 2 by 5, this is nothing but 3 by 5. So, uh, probability that uh, A wins for if we, if, we they, if they play, so once then probability that A wins it is nothing but 3 by 5. So, now here 5 times they are uh, playing, so we can consider that x 1 is that uh, uh, they are win probably uh, the random variable present if they are first time they are playing x 3, x 1, x 2, x 3 and x 5. So, then uh, then so uh, each random variable having same probability they are identically distributed random variable this is nothing but 3 by 5 because x i we are considering for it is equal to 1 if a wins. So, then a probability that a wins. So, then uh, probability that x i is equal to 0 it is also 2 by 5 because each time uh, the winning probability are same here it is assumed then i is equal to 1 to 5. Then y if we consider this random variable x 1 plus x 2 plus x 3 plus x 4 plus x 5 then what is this distribution as we discussed it is nothing but a binomial distribution and n is here 5 and p is here 3 by 5. So, that uh, see that in our previous example this uh, uh, we consider p is equal to half because uh, there are no nothing mentioned about the head uh, probability of head. Here it is mentioned that uh, the winning probability for a is uh, the ratio is a 3 is to 2. Now, what is the question? So, now whenever uh, it is binomial distribution find a chance of winning at least 3 games out of the 5 game plate. So, at least 3 game. So, the, then we know the probability mass function of y. So, this is nothing but p of y y probability that y is equal to y. So, this is nothing but uh, 5 c y. So, this is uh, giving that i y is nothing but how many times uh, a wins uh, out of 5 games. So, uh, y is maybe 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. So, this is 5 c y then uh, probability p to the power of uh, y 1 minus p is 2 by 5 to the power uh, 5 minus y and then for y is equal to 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and this is equal to 0 otherwise, this is equal to 0 otherwise. So, now uh, we want to find uh, what is the probability that it is asked the question that uh, find h chance of winning at least 3 games out of the 5 games. So, out of the 5 games, 3 games, so it is uh, 5 time it is plain, so n is equal to 5. So, uh, probability that y greater than equal to it is asked at least uh, at least 3 games. So, y should be probability should y should be greater than equal to 3, probably that y is greater than equal to 3. So, this is nothing but probability that y is equal to uh, 2 uh, sorry y is greater than equal to 3. So, this is nothing but y is equal to. So, now uh, one thing we can do, so uh, we can find either, either directly uh, x greater than equal to 3 uh, or we can 1 minus of, but here uh, 3 is a middle point. So, we will, all, we will not have save any time. So, that is why we can find directly probability of y is equal to 3 plus y is equal to 4 plus probability of y is equal to 5 because the possibility that y is greater than equal to 3 means y is equal to 3, y is equal to 4 uh, plus y is equal to 5. So, then uh, what will be the probability y is equal to 3 is nothing but 5 c 3, uh, 3 to the power 5 whole to the power 3, uh, 2 to the power 5 whole to the power uh, 5 minus 3 and then uh, plus uh, 5 c 4 then uh, 3 to the power 5 whole to the power 4 
then 2 to the power 5 whole to the power 5 minus 4 plus uh, 5 c 5 then uh, 3 to the power uh, then uh, 3 by 5 whole to the power of 5 and 2 by 5 whole to the power 5 minus 5 is 0. So, just we have to simplify here 5 c 3 what is 5 c 3 uh, it will be uh, 5 factorial. So, 5 into 4 into 3 factorial by 3 factorial into uh, 2 factorial. So, this is cancelled. So, then this is 2 this is nothing but 10. So, this is 10. So, similarly uh, here it is a nothing but 10 and then you have to simplify it. So, 3 to the power uh, this is nothing but 2. So, 3 cube into uh, 2 square by uh, 5, 5 to the power 3 plus. So, this is nothing but 5. So, 5 to the power 5. Similarly, next term also it will be coming 5 c 3 plus 5, 5, 5 c 4 is nothing but 5 and this is 3 to the power 4 uh, into uh, 3 to the power 4 into uh, 2 to the power 1 by 5 to the power 5 plus here it is nothing but uh, this is 1 into 3 to the power of 5 by 5 to the power 5, 3 to the power 5 by 5 to the power 5. So, just we have to compute it, we have to simplify these things. So, here we do not have any uh, other simplification we can do, we have to you can use a calculator if it is required. So, then uh, uh, finally, uh, actually it is coming uh, the value just I am writing, you can check that whether this value is correct or not. After simplification, you can use a uh, calculator to uh, compute it and then you will find that this probability will be 0 0.68. So, this probability. So, this is just we are learning that how we can utilize this binomial distribution to solve this kind of problem. Consider this problem. So, in a, a precision bombing atom attack, so in a so in a precision bombing attack, in a precision bombing bomb, bombing attack, there is a there is a 50 percent chance there is a 50 percent chance that any one bomb that any one bomb will strike will strike the target will strike the target two direct seeds are required two direct hits are required to destroy to destroy the target the target completely to destroy the target completely. How many, how many bombs, how many bombs must be dropped how many bombs must be dropped to give a to give a 99 percent 99 percent chance or better to completely to completely destroying completely destroying the target. So, this is the question. So, we see that in a precision bombing attack there is a 50 percent chance that any one bomb will strike the target. So, let uh, x be the random variable defined as x is equal to 1 if the bomb uh, bomb the bomb 
or a bomb strikes the target is equal to 0 if not if the bomb does not strike the the target. So, this is the random variable. Then as per the given information you can see that in a precision uh, bombing attack there is a 50 percent chance that any one bomb will strike the target probability that x is equal to 1 if you throw the bomb as then it will strike uh, the probability is nothing but 1 by 2. So, the similarly probability of x is equal to 0 is equal because 50 percent chance it is 50, 50 by 100 1 by 2. So, this is probability of x equal to 0 also 1 minus 1 by 2. Now, two direct hits are required to destroy the target completely. How many bombs must be dropped to give a 99 percent chance or better to completely destroying the target? 